Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering complete views topic in DBMS. I will explain what is view, what is simple view, what is complex view, and also I will explain how to create view, update view, and delete view. Guys, I have uploaded complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is view. Guys, view is nothing but it is simply a virtual table. For example, let us consider there is college database. Inside college database, there is student table. This is student table data. Now, what I want to do is I want to create this student table again with the same data. So again, I need to write code in order to create student table and in order to insert this data. So it is time taking process. In order to overcome this problem, we can use view. Just by using select command, you need to select all this data and you need to place the data in view. Guys, view is nothing but it is simply a virtual table. For example, what I want to do is I want to create the same student table again with the same data. So just by writing single line of code, you can create this table. So write here, create view. Guys, view is nothing but it is simply a virtual table. After writing create view, here you need to give view name. For example, I want to give view name as my view. So write here create view my view, which is view name as now by using select command, you need to select data. Whatever the data that is present inside student table, I want to place this complete data in my view. By using select command, you need to select data. So right here, select star. I want to select all these three columns. So I written here star. So star means all these three columns from table name. I want to select data from student table. So right here, student. And at last, give semicolon. Whenever you write this line of code and click enter, it will create view. That view name is my view. Here in this my view, I selected complete data which is present in student table. So this my view contains complete data which is present in student table. Guys, this my view is also a table. Previously, there is only one table that is student table. But this time there are two tables. They are student table and as well as my view table. Whenever you write show tables, it will display complete tables which is present in database. There are two tables in database. So whenever I write this code and click enter, it will display two tables. They are student table. And next one is my view table. I want to see data which is present in my view table. So you need to write code that is select star from guys in order to see data which is present in table, you need to write select star from table name. And in order to see data which is present in view, you need to write select star from view name. I want to see data which is present in my view table. So just write here select star from my view. This my view contains complete data which is present in student table. So whenever I write here select star from my view, it will display this complete table. This is my output. Guys, select a star from student mean. It will select complete data from all these three columns. But this time I don't want to select complete data. I want to select only data of the students whose section is A. Here Sai section is A and Raju section is A and Nagendra section is A. So I want to select only these three records and I want to create one separate view. So I will create one separate view by selecting these three records. So write code that is create view. And here you need to give view name. Previously, I given view name as my view. This time I will give my view name as my view one. So create view my view one as select. Guys, I want to select all these three columns like name Sai, rule number one and section A. So right here star, select star from table name. My table name is student. So right here student. And now you need to give condition. You can give condition by using where, where section equal to A in quotations. Whenever you write this line of code and click enter, it will create view. That view name is my view one. This my view one contains only data of the students whose section is A. Here Sai section is A and Raju section is A and Nagendra section is A. Whenever you write your show tables, it will display three tables as output. They are student, my view and my view one. I want to see data which is present in my view one. So you need to write code that is select star from view name that is my view one and give semicolon. Whenever you write this code and click enter, this is my output. Star means complete columns. So it will display complete columns of the student whose section is A. Guys, star means complete three columns. But this time I don't want complete three columns. I just want only name column and rule number column as output. I need to skip this section column. So I will create view by selecting only two columns. They are name column and rule number column. So I let code for this. So right here create view and view name. I want to give view name as my view two. My view two as select star mean complete columns. But I don't want to select complete columns. 
I want to select only name column and rule number column. So right here, so right here select name comma rule number from table name. Table name is student. So right here student. Whenever you write this code and click enter, it will create view. That view name is my view too. So whenever you write show tables, it will display completely four tables. They are student table, my view table, my view one table, and my view two table. This is my output. Now I want to see data which is present in my view two. In order to see data, you need to write select star from my view two. This is my output. It will skip the section column and it will display only. name column and rule number column so this is my output views are nothing but they are simply a virtual tables a view also has rows and columns as they are in a real table in the database guys same like tables views also contain rows and columns based on given condition view can contain all rows or it can also contain only specific rows it all depends on condition till now we created views next i will explain how to update views for example if you consider my view 1 This my view one contains complete data of the students whose section is A. Now I want to update this my view one. Previously, my view one contained complete data of the student whose section is A. This time I want to update my view one by selecting complete data of the students whose section is B. So right here, by using replace command we can update view. So right here replace view. View name is my view one as select star from student where section equal to B. Take B in quotations. Whenever you write this line of code and click enter, now this my view one contains only section B data. If you observe this table, in this table only Shiva section is B, so it will store Shiva, rule number two and section B. Whenever you write select star from my view one, it will display output that is name Shiva, rule number two and section B. This is my output. By using replace command, we can update views. Guys, for example, if you consider student table, in this student table, I change the name Sai to name A B C. Whatever the changes that you made to this main table, automatically these changes are reflected to all these views because we created these three views by using the student table. So if you change any data in student table, automatically these changes are updated in all these views. So now my view, my view one, and my view two. So in all these three views, it will update name side to name A B C. Guys, deleting view is same like deleting table. In order to delete table, you need to write drop table table name. In order to delete view, you need to write drop view view name. I created three views. Now I want to delete these three views. So right here, drop view my view, drop view my view one, drop view my view three. This is how we delete views. Guys, if you create view by selecting only single table, then we call it as simple view. In this example, I created view by selecting only single table, that is student table. So if you create view by selecting single table, then we call it as simple view. If you create view by selecting multiple tables, then we call it as complex view. I will give example. For example, let us consider there are two tables. One table is student table, and next table is branch table. Now I want to select a name column from this student table, and I want to select a B name column from this branch table. By selecting these two columns, I want to create one separate view. I will write code for this. So it first write create view. I want to give view name as MView. So create view MView as select Guys, in order to create view from multiple tables, definitely there must be one common column. If you observe student table, in student table for S I D column there is one two three. Similarly, in branch table for B I D column there is one two three. So, in order to create view from multiple table, there must be some matching data. I want to select name column from student table. So, right here select student, which is table name dot column name. I want to select name column. Student dot name comma. Next, I want to select the B name column from branch table. So, comma branch, which is table name dot column name. I want to select B name column. So, right here branch dot B name. I selected two columns. One is name column from student table, comma B name column from branch table. I selected two columns from two tables. So, from student comma branch. And here you need to give condition where student dot S I D is equal to Branch dot bid student dot sid is equal to branch dot bid and give semicolon. Here there is match one one, so it will select Sai AML and here there is two two. There is match, so it will select Shiva CSC and there is match three three. It will select Ganesh DS. I created view that view name is MView. This is MView data. 
For example, in student table, there is Nagendra 5 and Raju 1. A given condition that is student.sid is equal to branch.bid. If you observe this Nagendra, for Nagendra, there is 5. In this column, 5 is not present. So, it will not select this record. And next, Raju 1. Here for Raju, there is 1. And here for AML, there is 1. So, it will select Raju AML. So, it will select Raju AML. Here, I created view by selecting multiple tables. They are student table and branch table. So, we call it as complex view. Complex view is nothing but creating views from multiple tables. This is all about views. 